Hi, I'm Haley. I sing for the band Paramore. And uh, basically, a little story about me. Um, I've been through, I, I've, I think I've lived an awesome, very blessed life in the sense that like I don't feel that I've had to deal with some of the hardships that like a lot of my friends have. But yet I've been through times of like, you know, three different divorces with my parents and things like that and losing friends um, to drunk driving and situations like that that are pretty, what I feel to be pretty normal. But, um, but I still find myself a lot of times being, like, one of the only, like, people that I know that can, that always wants to hold my head up and be positive about everything. And I think it's really helped me, um, and it's been really important for me, um, in any situation when it comes to touring, when it comes to playing in my band, dealing with my family situations, or, you know, whatever it is, like, it's never, it's never let me down. And, um. As far as drinking and all that stuff, like, I have a lot, a ton of friends that are straight edge. I don't claim straight edge, but to me, it's an amazing, very respectable lifestyle. My thing is, I just don't drink. I don't smoke. I don't need to dr do drugs. I don't need to party because, um, I just, I don't know. I guess I, it's never, it's never really tempted me, you know, but at the same time, um, I started, I will say this, I started to, to drink when I was younger because I thought it would help my voice. And then I kind of leaned on it because I thought, um, once I started, you know, having like a shot of this or something for, to help my throat, I thought that maybe it sounded cool to people that I was around because I was like 16 years old and on tour with people that were in their 30s and um, kind of feeling like maybe it would help me fit in. Even though it really didn't, it wasn't something that I wanted to do or that I enjoyed doing. Um, and I remember one night being, uh, we were celebrating our first sold out show in London and um, some guy brought us a, a bottle of champagne and I thought, okay, well this is like what you do. You, you know, you're grown up, you celebrate, you have champagne. So I, um, I took a sip like straight out of the bottle. <laughs> I thought I was being so cool. And um, I remember spitting it out because I thought it was so gross. And um, that was in 2007, and that was the night that I decided I would never take another sip of an alcoholic drink if it wasn't something that I was making the choice for myself to do. So I feel like, you know, if you claim straight edge, if that's something that you, that's amazing, and I think that that's, that's a commitment that, like, I respect to no end. Um, but also, if it's something that, if it's something as simple as, like, just don't drink if you don't want to. Like, don't, like, don't party if you don't want to. Like, if you, if you have a sip of alcohol, like, make sure it's for yourself, you know, like, not for someone else. I think that you're cool or that you fit in with a certain person because I realized that, um, thankfully, early enough on in my life that, like, I know I'll never do it again if it's not for me. And if it's not, then I just won't and I don't need it. Um, so thankfully it's not something that really, really tempts me. Um, some people might struggle with that, but, um, lucky that I don't and I'm lucky that I surround myself with positive people that make choices that are healthy um, whether it's by you know not drinking and not partying or whether it's by their the, the choices they make to like exercise or to work out and be like anything to like keep your mind in a positive state like I, I think that there's a, a zillion healthy ways that you can live your life that you can there's always alternatives you know you don't have to dive into drugs or you know you know act all like you know hard edged and like you know, jaded just because it's the way to be. Like, I think there's so much more out there. And um, and on another tip, um, I I've grown up. I've always been a Christian. I've always like been raised in faith. But for me, like one of the most positive things that I can be is open-minded. And um, it's really important for me not only um, in music, meeting all the people that I meet every day and playing with different bands, but like. You know, not everyone is going to believe the same thing that I believe and, or that you believe. You know, like, you might you might have a certain religion that, you know, some your best friend might believe something completely opposite. And I think that the more that you learn to be open-minded and work with people that aren't exactly like you, like, that's the best way you can possibly be. Um, it's I know it's helped me. And, and another thing, I've learned so much from so many different people that don't believe the way that I believe. Um, I, th I think it's it's amazing. I've, I'm living a, a, an amazing and very blessed life, mostly due to the fact that um, that I've I've kept my head on straight, due to the fact that I, I don't care if someone else believes differently than me. My faith is is very personal to me. I make positive choices so I can be happy. And um, I don't know. It's just my friends are my family, and my family um, are, are so close to me that I mean it, I'm just really lucky to have all the people that I have. In my life. So...
One life, one chance. One life, one chance, folks.